if you've ever tried to use the pivot feature in Power Query and you've got something like this, then this video will help you understand why and how to fix it. Let's go. Let's take an example like this. Now, there's different ways to achieve the output here. Probably, you know, simply a pivot table could do this with concatenate X using DAX or something like that. There's always different ways, but there's certain time I might just want this output. So I've got the people, the salespeople across the top and the cars they sold by month. All right, so then if I simply add, let's say in back in January, uh, J also sold a uh, Ford. I can right click and refresh and you'll see, there you go, Jay's now sold a Ford in January. But if Morena, okay, let's go in here. She sells a Ford as well. And we'll refresh. There we go, Morena in January. All right, so what's the issue? Is that not just really straightforward? Well, if you've not done this before, then check this out. If you right click and say get table from data slash range and you go into Power Query and I simply try and pivot. So I click on the salesperson, I go transform and pivot column. Okay, it'll ask me sort of uh, what do I want to pivot on? Well, I want to put the car into the items and I can't, I don't want to count them. I actually want, don't aggregate. Okay, click okay. Oh, what's going on? I've got these errors everywhere. Now this happens, you know, once in a while when I'm doing this pivot and I always forget what the reason is, part of the reason I'm making this video. All right, so what is the reason? Why is Tesla showing for Zara, okay? in Jan, but these are all erroring out. Well, if we go back a second and we have a look at Zara, the only entry for Zara in January is the Tesla, but Stu has got two entries in January. And this is the, this is the cause, okay? It can't pivot it and do it properly because there's multiple items with the same sort of months in here or the same combinations. Right, so what do you do? Well, there's probably 101 solutions, and I'd love it if somebody you know comments in the in the puts in the comments and gives me another option here. But the way I sort of currently tackle this is I need to group by month and by salesperson, add a little counter, and then the pivot works because the rows are different. There's different sort of combinations, if you like. Let me show you what I mean. So I highlight these two columns, right click, and go to group by. Okay, I'm going to, I'll say insert step, I'll actually get rid of this pivot table step in a second. And you just want the data. I just want all rows. Okay, so this here is a little list of all January stews. This one is all January morenas, etc. Okay, now I want to add a little index number in here to sort of link them together. So how do I do that? And let me just delete this step, otherwise I'm gonna keep getting that. Do you wanna insert a step? Right, I wanna add an index. Now I can never remember the right code, so this is always my trick. Add column, index column. Let me just collapse this side one. All right, so add column, index column. And to be honest, I always like to start my index column from one. You don't have to, it's just a personal pet peeve that it starts at zero. All right, now, what I want to do actually is add that little running total at index inside each group. So I'm going to highlight the formula and then delete this step. So the only reason I added that step was to get that formula. Then I'm going to go to custom column and paste that formula in. Okay, make sure you haven't got the equal sign. And then rather than grouped rows, I actually want to refer to this column of tables, which is called data. So rather than group rows, double click on data. Okay, just got typed over it. Click OK. And now inside this table is 
the various elements with the index. Okay, this one goes one to three. This one was one, that was Zara's one sale. This one goes one to three, Zara's three fail sales in February. Okay, now I don't need the other columns, so right click, remove other columns, and then I expand this out. Don't use original column name as prefix, click OK. And I've now got a nice little unique reference, okay, grouped by each person. So now if I click on this and go transform pivot column using the car and advanced options don't aggregate and click OK, I've now got the results I need. Okay, and I can right click remove this. Awesome. Close and load. Okay. Now, if you stayed with me this far, you might want to stay with me a little bit longer, another couple of minutes, because I'm going to show you how you can then make sure this column sorted. Now, if it was a date or you just always wanted it to sort alphabetically, great. But what if it's not a date? Like this isn't a date and I can't sort it alphabetically because my months would be in all strange order. Well, here's an extra little side hack. There's nothing to do with solving this problem. That is the solution, right? You need to add that index on the grouping. Okay, what's this extra little trick? Well, I'm going to merge this query with itself to retain the original sort order. It's like, what are you talking about, Win? Okay, check this out. I'm just going to click on the FX here to add a new step. Okay, and just down here, I'm going to call this uh, ready for merge. Okay, so I'm going to merge a column on with a sort order. I want a one against January, a two against February, because that's the order they came in. So what do I do? Well, I'm actually going to say, right, from here, I want to refer to not removed columns. Actually, yes, I want to start there and add a new step. So insert step after, or I could click on that FX, does the same thing. I go back to the source. Okay, so I'm now back at my source step. I right click, remove other columns. Right click, remove duplicates. And then add an index column. And I prefer to start at one, it doesn't really matter at all. Um, so there we go, right? That is my sort order, that's my original display order. And then I'm gonna merge this query with itself, which is mad. So here we go, we're gonna go home, merge queries with itself using that, okay? But that's no good, because that's just a load of rubbish, really. You know, it's just a bit pointless. This is the magic bit, this, okay? It's not the added index step, which is the previous step that I want to start with. I want to start with the ready for merge step, okay? And now over on the side here, I've got my ability to expand out. And just to make it really obvious what I'm doing here, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to rename this as sort order original. Okay. Go back to my merge queries. Click on the expand. And there's my original sort order, which I can sort ascending. And I don't even need that column anymore, remove. And over here, January, February, beautiful, close and load. All right, hope you find this useful. Let me know what you think. Am I missing something obvious? Is there a much easier way of doing this? There may well be, you know, there's certain codes that I don't know about. There's lots of that. So let me know. Let me know if you found it useful, if you've hit this problem, and I'll catch you in the next video.